guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with Simply Spring and we're filming a collab. Um, I'm also talking to Daisy Claire right now. So um, right now we are negotiating a trade. So I'm giving you guys trading tips today. So tip number one, negotiate with people. So I said for all of my stuff, maybe a neon owl, mega kangaroo, and mega snow owl. I think that's probably pretty fair. But yeah, so I'm just gonna see what she is thinking. Um, so, yeah, and then after this, me and Spring are going to get into the video. <clears throat> Another thing I'm going to add is there's some pets like owls that are extremely overrated. So usually, you might want to overpay, well, you want to try and maybe to put up a fair trade for those, because you can get some really good overpay offers. And if you can negotiate with a person and convince them that they're that it's fair, then you should definitely do that. So, yes. Okay, so here's another example of a trade. So I'm offering a Nyan Dolphin and all of this for a Nyan Seahorse because his has a red potion and is a rare pet and mine's uncommon. So he just asked if I can add one more ocean pet. So I'm going to add a Stingray. I actually think that this trade is pretty fair. I did make the Dolphin myself though, so. Okay. Okay, so I'm just saying, I don't know. Um, oof, I, I don't know. So in this situation, I could ask some of my friends maybe. So maybe I would go into Roblox chat or just like text some of my friends and see what they think. So right now I'm asking him, can I think? So I'm going to say, can I think LOL? Okay, you know. Um, so this is a good thing to do. Just don't do trades off of impulse if you feel like you should do them. Maybe you shouldn't. You should just think about it a little, because most often people are totally fine with that. Okay, so I'm using more examples. So one of my friends just came and asked if I had an offer for her pet, which is another thing, good thing to do, is usually go to friends that you know might have a good offer for pets. Um, so then you because usually your friends are pretty good at giving good offers for stuff. So I think that's usually a good thing you should do. Okay, so we're going to start with an example of trading. So he's going to put up a pet, and I'm going to try an offer for it. So a Neon Evil Unicorn. So I, those have been gaining a lot of value over time, so I'm going to put up my four Neon Kangaroos and some small ads, just because a Neon Owl is worth a bit more than mega kangaroo at this point but a neon evil unicorn has less value than it i might be a little under but it's a good thing to negotiate with people when you aren't sure so oh i saw another friend join in the process of doing this video i've had so many friends join me like you don't even know okay um let me just tell her to let know so there we have another friend coming to me to ask if i have an offer so i was just gonna say i don't have an offer sorry Oh, and there we go, another friend. Ack, okay, um, so now is the time when you're not sure if you should do the trade or not. So then you can debate a little with people. Oh, I think he accidentally declined. Do you still have the mega, oh my gosh, hold on. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to offer for his mega Cerberus. Oh, I am totally not over. Okay, so right now you need to think about these on this one, think about it. So, usually one thing is when they accept really quickly, you should know not to do that trade. Because they either want it really badly or they're under. So, um, another thing is if you do know you're under, like he's saying right now, be like, hmm, I don't know. You know? Um, so, it's like, hmm, I'm going to do it. You know? So, you should act like you don't know if you're really under. But in this circumstance, Cerberuses are still in game. And a lot easier to get than Mega Albino Monkey. So I'm going to have to say, I'm sorry. No, thank you. Um, so yeah, you want to always be careful when you're thinking. And make sure, and always think, like I like to in my head to think about how much a certain pet is worth. So probably, a Neon Albino Monkey is probably worth like three Neon Cerberuses. So it's like I thought I was over, but okay. So um, yes, in that instance, you always, like you don't want to be really rude and make people, um, so you don't want to be, so, 
Oh my gosh, I cannot speak! Okay, but yeah, you want to make them think that it's a fair trade, but if you're really under, don't be like rude and like mess with people if they don't know values, but like, yes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go over the next thing. Um, so right now, he is going so, okay, so in this instance, he's gonna put something up, and I, so I'm quite over for this, but so he's gonna trick me into accepting. So the thing is, if people are trying to trick you into accepting, don't fall for it. Just don't. Just don't do it. So he's saying, hmm, I don't know. I got I got offered more. So people like to do this. But like, don't fall for it. Just don't. You know. So right here, he's manipulating me. So don't fall for it. Maybe if you aren't sure, ask your friends. Say so I'm gonna regret it though. Hmm, I'll do it. <laughs> Just no. Okay, so I'm. He's not sure about. Okay, so. Um, let's just say he isn't sure about doing this trade. So he's gonna ask if he can ask a friend. So he's like, ooh, hmm, I don't know. So he's going to probably. Okay, so. Yes, let's just wait a second. So, if someone asks you if they can ask your friend, you should always be polite and be like, sure, you know? Okay, so I am now his friend, you know, most certainly. So, <laughs> um, yes, to the friend he is going to ask. So, he's going to ask me what I think of the trade. So, as a friend, if you ever have someone come to you, always be honest and, like, maybe... If there's a reason for thinking something, explain that reasoning so your friend can understand that. That's another nice thing to do. Should I trade my octopus, an owl, for tuna, and kangaroos? Hmm. It's fair, I think. So, um, yeah. Okay, so now he is going to come back to me okay so my and next tip i have for you is so let's just say i have this mega albino monkey but i don't know what it's worth so i would so you should go on so if you have a pet like that go on to youtube and search up what people trade for that kind of pet or as always if you guys ever aren't sure so if you guys aren't ever sure you can always ask me for like help on that stuff you know i'm always here and bored as heck so like no, I'm here for you guys. Um, so, yeah. So another thing is always be aware of pets' values and know that in the beginning, pets usually have a lot of value when they're still pretty new to the game. But over time, they will lose value. But if they leave the game again, they will gain value. So always be aware of that. Another thing I'm going to add is if you aren't sure about trade, don't, a trade, don't rely on trade backs. Also, people are like, if you don't like the trade, we can trade back. They're usually lying. So just that they're trying to force you into doing the trade. Just make sure you're really sure about a trade before you do it. And yeah, don't rely on trade backs because most oftentimes people are not willing to do them. If because if you want to do a trade, that means like you overpaid, and then they wouldn't want to give up their overpay, you know. So. Um, yeah, always, yeah, so, why am I saying yeah so much? Um, I, I, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm doing at this yeah. point. So the next one is sometimes in the moment a pet has a lot of value, but, so, don't do trades if you feel like you'll regret them, because in the beginning, if you're not sure if you can get the pet traded quickly, then you might not want to do the trade, because then it would lose a lot of value and you would probably end up regretting it later. So, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so ABC to trust trade. Right now, don't, don't, don't do a trust trade. Just don't do it. <laughs> Okay, so, 
scammers always like, yes, finally, someone who can do it. Just do 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 yeah he's gonna get scammed dun 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 bum bum um <laughs> do you have a mega shadow i do definitely bum bum anyways i hope you guys learned something from this video thank you so much for watching Bye guys!